We have a big question right now, and this is making headlines about a possible side effect uh, with a rare disorder and the J&J &J vaccine? Yes, yes. So this is an important topic to talk about. So this disorder is called Guillain-Barre syndrome. It's actually a rare disorder that actually, I would say actually not that rare. Um, so what it is, is it's a syndrome that starts with numbness, tingling, and weakness of the hands and the feet that ascends or goes up the body. And commonly, it's triggered by various viral or bacterial infections. And it's actually known to be a rare side effect of certain vaccines, like the flu vaccine or the shingles vaccine. And it's difficult to quantify exactly how many cases we see every year, but the CDC reports that we see more than 3,000 cases every single year. What's important about this report today from the FDA is that they found that there are 100 patients who have come down with Guillain-Barre syndrome, all of whom have had a recent dose of their Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It seems to be predominantly men over the age of 50, and they all have symptoms within two weeks of their dosage. With that being said, this is just an association and we don't yet know if there's any specific causation. So it will require a deeper dive to better understand. But just to have some context, there's been over 12.5 million doses of the vaccine given out so far. And so obviously this is a small but important to acknowledge side effect that's possible. And with that being said, it's also important to acknowledge that the risk of COVID-19 still far outweighs any possible risk association to this vaccine. All right, Dr. Sutton, I know you're going to be with us, so thank yes. you for being with us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.